final thought. We've already mentioned this this morning, but I want to underscore it. Rejoicing in God's sovereignty is not incompatible with sorrow over man's lost condition. I want to end on that thought tonight because I want us to remember that we are surrounded by a world full of people who desperately need Christ. And just like us, they will not be saved without receiving the gospel. They will not be saved without repenting of their sins and trusting in God's Son. And if you ask what is God's plan for getting the gospel to them, the answer, Christian, is you. You are God's plan. I am God's plan. The church is God's plan. We have been given a commission. We have been given a command. We have been given a responsibility to take God's good news concerning His Son and share it with the world. That's our responsibility. And I ask you, humbly, I ask you, are you fulfilling that? Are you fulfilling that? Are you sharing the gospel? Do you realize there are people all around you who are ready to hear? God has them ready. And He wants you to go and share the good news with them. This past Saturday, we were playing flag football. And there's a man I've been praying for and praying for his father. And his dad comes with him to these games and watches. And this man is dying of brain cancer. And I've asked the son on several occasions now if I could go by his dad's house and just talk to him about about Christ because I don't know how long this man has to live. And his son has been willing to have me come over and said that he would go with me. It just hasn't come to pass. And on this past Saturday, the Lord sent the rain. And so we're out there playing in the rain and, and his dad is by himself sitting in a chair up against the wall of the school so he can be out of the rain under an overhang. And we finished the early game and his son was officiating the second game so that his dad is sitting there all by himself. And I had the opportunity to go and sit down beside his chair. He comes from a Roman Catholic background. And I just shared the gospel with him. And at least five times, he, as he listened, he said, Really? Really? You know, when I told him that salvation is a matter of grace, really, that Christ died for sinners so that we're not going to get to heaven by our works or by the church or by the sacraments, but faith alone, faith in Christ, really, really. And he listened, and he listened. And I, I just had the sense it was sinking in. I want you to pray for that man. I, I don't want to give you his name. I just want you to pray for him. But my point is, the Lord orchestrated a circumstance where my heart's desire to share the gospel with him was fulfilled. The, the word has gone out, and now it's in the hand of our sovereign God. And he has the power to take that man and to give him life just before he exits this life. That's God's calling to all of us. Will we be faithful because God is sovereign, knowing there is no one beyond his saving hand? Will we be faithful to share the good news?